Hi, today I'm going to show you how to use another form of audio recording. I know I have introduced uh, how to record using voice memo before, but today it's just going to be a pure audio recording. So I'm going to show you how it works first, and then I'm going to go through the step, okay? So I'm going to bring up Siri and say, start audio recording. Start audio recording. Tap to start recording. So the whole screen is going to be like tap to start recording. That's how I have it set to start recording. Tap to start recording. Tap to finish and recording. After I tap to start recording, zero. Tap it's going to tell record. me that tap to you finish. Know, if I tap again, I, it will finish recording. And that's how I set it again, too. So I, I'm recording right now, and I'm going to finish it by tapping it. Tap to... And it goes to the, my iCloud Drive file app, where it asks me where I want to save the file, the audio file that I just recorded. Uh, I'm going to save it on the iCloud Drive, the root drive, the root folder. So I'm save go button. ahead and click on save. Say shortcut fit shortcuts. Okay, that's, that's it. Okay, now we're gonna go over how to actually do that. Okay, without using the voice memo app. So first, let's go to app like suggestions shortcuts Twitter. shortcuts. Then shortcuts. go to create shortcut. 50% create shortcut Make sure button. you're on the My Shortcut tab. Create shortcut. Shortcuts. Search for apps and actions. Search then field. Then double tap on search field to bring up the keyboard. Search field is editing. Search for apps and actions. Type word in the home. word audio. Cap A. U. D. I. I O Then look for record audio settings and code me search apps show in iTunes trim media record audio button heading added record audio to shortcut above record audio media record audio action and heading. go to show more media media add action button Add action button media show more button Expanded. here you will see option on how you can uh, change audio quality audio quality now, right now the default is normal you can change it to high or low it's up to you normal button and again the start or stop the audio you can change that too start recording the default is on tab on tab and i will button. leave it as that media finish recording and finish recording is also on tab on and tab. i also button. will leave it at that too then after you satisfy with your option, you go to add action. Add action button. Add action. Go actions to controller. search Full field. Screen. Search for apps and actions. Search Activate it to bring end. up the keyboard. After you record an audio, you want to save your audio recording somewhere. So now you have to have it save. So type in save file. Cap S A B V E C F I L. Then go e to save file. Actions. Hit save file button. Hit added save file to shortcut below record audio media. Record and here audio. Here it will be saved on, on my iCloud drive. Save record iCloud and drive button. Ask, ask where, where to, to save, save can Switch turn be turned on. off or on. I have Actions it on available. just in case I want to save it in different folder. But if you turn it off, it will be saved for you automatically. So that way you don't have to concern about where you want to save it. After you satisfy with that option, then you go to next. Next button. Next text field is editing shortcut. Name. Here you want Word to type mode. in the Insertion phrase that you want Siri to use to call up your audio recording. So I'm going to be using spy on cap s p y spy audio on. K 
cap a u d i o audio cap o then you go to done done button <laughs> so you can here you can use any phrase like i use you know you can use start audio recording or spy on like i would what i just did right now or any other you know code phrase that can be this guy so nobody know that you're recording then you go to done and now done. you have Dimmed. it your audio Shortcuts, recording that without the voice memo this one i think is more more convenient because you only see one button it's like a one big tab and you can change that to how you want to start recording or stop recording okay that's it for today thank you for listening and stay safe bye for now and see you soon maybe next week <laughs>